the Devil Well price will be adjusted in the country's market according to the global price, said the Commerce Minister. BNP chairperson Khalid Azia's release a term will be extended again if her family members apply, informed the Lord Minister. Due to the law, all maritime ports have been advised to keep requesting the local cautionary signal number 3. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I'm Fozia Roshun, with you in the newsroom today. We are still watching the headlines and I'm going to the details. Commerce Minister Tipu Munshi said the price of edible well is reducing in the global market. As a result, it will be adjusted in the country's market. Speaking to reporters at his residence in Rongput today morning, the minister said that the price of edible well may decrease one more step in the next month. This process has already started. He added that bilateral business discussions during Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's visit to India have been very fruitful. Trade between the two countries will increase in the near future. The related facilities will also increase. Chris. Law, Justice and the Parliamentary Affairs Minister Anisul Haq has said BNP Chairperson Khalid Azia's release term will be extended again if her family members submit an application. He told journalists after inaugurating a training course of a joint district and sessions judges at equivalent judicial offices at the Judicial Administration Training Institute in the capital today. The law minister said that government is waiting for their application. If they submit an application, the release period will definitely be extended. Earlier on March 23rd, the government extended the suspension of Khalid Azia's jail sentence, allowing her to stay out of prison for another six months. Khalid Azia was first released from jail for six months upon an executive order considering her age and on humanitarian grounds following an application by her family on March 25 in 2020. BNP Secretary General Mr. Farkal Islam Alamgir has alleged that law enforcement forces have turned into party forces. He also claimed that the government is busy suppressing opposition parties to retain power. He said this at the unveiling ceremony of the book titled Politics of East Pakistan and Bangladesh at the National Press Club today. Deputy Leader of Opposition in the Jatiyo Shangshud and the Jatiyo Party Chairman GM Kader demanded that political and economic crisis is going on in the country. He said this in an exchange meeting with the leaders and activists of the Jatiyo Party of Noshingdi at Bonani office today. Criticizing the National Election Commission and EVMs, GM Kader said that the people of the country do not want to vote in the EVMs. GM Kader also commented that there is a need for political stability in the country. The maritime ports of Chortogram, Cox's Bazar, Mongla and Paira have been advised to keep hoisting the local cautionary signal number 3 as the squally weather may affect the maritime ports, North Bay and adjoining coastal areas of Bangladesh. Through Abu Laitan, the Met Office said the low over West Central Bay and adjoining Northwest Bay now lies over the same area. It is likely to intensify. Under its influence, deep convection is taking place over North Bay and adjoining area. All fishing boats and trawlers over the North Bay and the Deep Sea have been advised to remain close to the coast and proceed with a caution till further notice. Once again, the bullets fired from Myanmar have arrived in the Tamru Khonar Para area of Gumdum Union of Naikan Churyupazila of Bandurban. At around 4 p.m. on Friday, the bullet fell at a place called Medir Baragoda inside the zero line in the middle of the pillars number 34 to 35 of the border. Everyone living in the area has been ordered to be on alert. It is also reported that BGB patrols have been strengthened. Earlier on September 3rd, at 9.30 a.m. 
to shells fired from Myanmar where plants fell off the Gumdum area of Naikan Choryupazila of Bandurban. Early on August 28, around 3 p.m., a motor shell fired from Myanmar landed exploded near the Tambu North Mosque in Gumdum. Select Gas Felt has taken an initiative to uplift gas from old wells in a bid to resolve the country's gas crisis which is affecting gas guzzling industries, power plants and household consumers. BPEX has restarted the uplifting gas from the first well of Silas Bianibaja gas field. Those concerned hope to get 7 million cubic feet of gas per day from this well. The digging work of the abundant pit of the gas field in Bianibaja was started today. The managing director of Silhet Gas Fields Limited, Mizan Rahman, said that it will be possible to start extracting gas from the well within a month. Viewers, now international news. A historic accession council proclaimed Charles III as Britain's new king today, following the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, aged 96. The televised council ceremony, which is being held at St. James Palace in London, comes a day after Charles Philip Arthur George wrote in the first speech to morning subjects that he would immolate his darling mama, Queen Elizabeth II. The 73-year-old Charles III automatically became monarch after the Queen's death Thursday. But an accession council ceremony at St. James Palace early Saturday is a constitutional formality to recognize his sovereignty. The pomp filled protocol featuring trumps and a balcony proclamation is the latest part of a 10-day program of official mourning, which will last even longer for the royals held across Britain leading up to the Queen's funeral. A Ukrainian advance near the eastern city of Kharkiv, which has recaptured several towns, has taken Russia by surprise, say UK defense officials. In a daily update, the said Kiev's forces have advanced 50 kilometers into previously Russian-held territory. The attack has also left thousands of Moscow troops increasingly isolated near the key city of Izum. The said on Friday evening, President Volodymyr Zelensky said Ukraine had retaken 30 settlements in the Kharkiv region. We are about to die into the headlines once again. Edible World Prize will be adjusted in the country's market according to the global price, said the Commerce Minister. BNP chairperson Khaled Azia's release from Derm will be extended again if her family members apply, informed the Law Minister. Due to the law, all maritime posts have been advised to keep hoisting the local cautionary signal number 3. A historic accession council proclaimed Charles III as Britain's new king and has taken oath at St. James Palace. That's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with my TV news online, visit YouTube slash my TV BT News. And to watch all our programs, visit YouTube slash my TV Bangla, Facebook slash my TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 pm. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Allah Hafiz.